everyone, thanks for coming to the video. Uh, I'm Lindsay and I'm going to show you today my Christmas carol journal that I've redone. Um, I did a flip through of the one that I originally did a few weeks ago and for the most part the pages and things haven't changed. I've added a few embellishments. I did add some additional pages when I was rebinding it. Um, it's mostly the outer cover. So I went to a antiques fair and antiques fair uh, a few weeks ago and I found this. Christmas Carol book, which I was so excited about. Like, I can't even begin to tell you how excited I was to find this. It was at the bottom of a box of books. It, it was so damaged in such bad condition, but I took it anyway, I thought I had to have it. So this is what it looks like. I did repaint the cover in places and I tried to preserve as much of the original painting as physically possible but you can see from the spine here what bad state it was in and I wasn't originally going to repaint the spine which is why it's quite messy but I am going to get some reference photos and redo the spine as well and I repaint the back you can see there some of the bubbling here and at the top here where it's just been damp the guy said that he found the box of books uh, just stored in someone's shed it'd been there for years um, it wasn't short, it was in the box, so I had a good rummage and this was at the bottom, so yeah, it was a mess. Um, so I had to repaint a lot here. I went over all the gold. I did a bit of this holly here and some of the red berries. This is all original on all this here and here is all original. So I did preserve as much as possible. Um, as I say, I painted here. I did paint along here, mainly for scanning purposes, but otherwise, I tried to preserve it. This here, this right, this wording here, that that painting there, the gold is the original gold. You can see how it's not quite as shiny as the gold that I painted. And a lot of this was absolutely fine, but this had pretty much all rubbed off. So when I was repainting this, then all this, it just I had to then go over all of it really, otherwise it just wouldn't look really enough. So anyway, that is the book. On the inside cover, it's got this gorgeous um, holly design which I really love. It is falling apart. Such a shame it's in bad condition, um, but I'm still having to have it. A lot of the pages are okay. You can see the water damage here, um, but it's neither here or there to me. A lot of the pages are still good. I won't cut this up. I'm not gonna use this. Um, I'm just gonna repaint the spine and use it really as a bit of a decoration, a bit of a prop um, at Christmas time, just to have it out on the side because I just think it looks really nice in its own right. So as I can't bring myself to cut it up, naturally I recreated it. <laughs> so I've done this cover. Um, I did this, I printed this out. So I've created a digital. It's in my Etsy shop at the minute. So I created this digital and it is the front and back cover. So you can cut it out. Um, and then if you print it double-sided, you'll end up with the front and back cover. And then you'll have the lovely green holly design on the inside. Of course, you don't have to print it front and back. You can print two separate pieces, glue them together, uh, or use something else on the inside. You can use this as like a journal space or a page inside the journal. You could do all sorts, you do whatever you want with it. But I've just done it so it can be front cover, inner lining cover, uh, and then I've added some random pages to mine, um, just to use at Christmas time. Pop some receipts and things in, gift ideas, um, anything anything that I need to keep hold of or write down journaling prompts, whatever. Um, I have included this as well, this music sheet with the digital, because it's a Christmas carol, so it's relevant. Um, but yeah, so you can recreate your own. On the cover, I have repainted the gold, so it won't print like that. Um, if you want it gold as well, if you want the shine, you can use a gold pen. I use this gilding liquid, uh, which I found in a craft store here, and it's in the color Empire Gold even though it's rubbed off, it's empire gold. And I use the tiniest paintbrush I could find to go over it all. But a gold pen, Posca marker, something like that would work. And it give you that nice little shiny finish. So when I was creating my journal for this year originally, I had this is what I had in mind. This is what I visualized. And I, I, ju I just really wanted this kind of vibe, this look. Um, and when I saw this, I I um, just knew that I had to, to, to redo my journal because it's exactly what I was imagining. So I printed it again, 
painted it again <laughs> did all the gold painting what i will say as well so when i did the book cover because i painted this using acrylic paints and also the gold gilded liquid i went over it with a matte mod podge even though it still has a bit of sheen to it i went over it with a matte mod podge and it was fine to seal it i actually printed this off painted all of it went over it with the matte mod, mod podge because it's inkjet it just ran everywhere it made it a big green sludgy mess so um, i haven't sealed this yet but i will do i'm thinking of getting a spray sealer so on the spine it's just this gold at the minute i am going to cover it once i've repainted the spine on the original book i will size it and i'll print it and put it on there probably just cover the edges maybe with some nice lace and then on the back is the back cover and I've printed it so you've got a nice texture of the back cover and I printed it on some linen cardstock so it's got a little bit of texture to it as well and I put some book corners on there like putting edges on my journals corners so on mine I've done this lovely pattern on the inside cover because it's so pretty um I haven't done it on the back cover the back cover has this gold this is from the cabinet card album. I actually had this in my old journal. I do have the cover from the journal that I did originally, so I will recreate that and make another journal with it. But for me this year, this is exactly what I wanted. I just couldn't find it, couldn't get hold of one. So I created it as it, as it was in the last video, uh, which I still really love, but this is what I imagined. So I redid it. So I'll show you quickly. Uh, if you've seen the previous video, the flip through, you'll see most of the pages. I have added a few. Uh, I've done a bit more embellishing and things. So um, a little postcard. I love that. I love that right at the front. I still love that whole sort of aesthetic with this little gold here. And on my berries, you'll see a better bit later on. On my berries, if you can see a bit of sparkle on there, I've used this, just this stupid glitter glue from um, Hobbycraft. It's in red. And I actually bought this to do when I'm doing my gift wrapping. So I'm going to jazz my presents up a little bit. So, but obviously it works nicely here too. This is some French agenda. I found this vintage postcard at the Antiques Fair as well. Bit of ephemera, just looking pretty in there. Uh, this envelope, uh, I'm pretty sure is in my Etsy shop. It's from the 26th of December. There's a letter that goes with it as well that I've got printed further on. Um, and it's just, it's a box, a letter that was dated on Boxing Day, thanking uh, a person for the gifts that the person received for his children. So I thought that was pretty neat. And I did some embroidery on there. As I say, you've seen a lot of these pages already. I have been making these. I've been loving making these. Bohemian Crafting did these on her channel. Um, I think it was just last week. And I immediately went and ordered some of these little ribbon clips. Because I just love them <laughs> so much. And I wanted them in my journal. So I've been making those. So there's a couple of those in here. So I couldn't make my mind up. So just have all of them. Because <laughs> why not? Um, this is some vintage ledger, some really old ledger. And I've when I get proper antique pages like this that are quite brittle, I always strengthen them where they're going to be bound with some masking tape. Just because otherwise the opening and closing, they can literally just break off. I, did, I added this page in additionally to what you would have seen before. Uh, I'll let this little gift reminder. I don't mind that it says birthday because it's got Christmas at the end there. So I'll put names and addresses in there, perhaps uh, what I got for each person, etc. Use that as a little bit of a record keeping log. Um, I firstly cut this pocket. I downloaded, downloaded this from Amity Bloom. Fussy cut it, create a pocket. And I've just got this page in there from a vintage recipe book. And I like that it says my own recipes. So I'm going to ask my mum very nicely if she will write out the Christmas cake recipe that we always make every year um, and put it on there. And then I'll probably add a little photo of the cake that I've made previously, the one that I make this year probably actually. Um, here I've had to reinforce this one with some tape. And when I get tape, so when I'm getting like vintage, like this, a lot of this came from the cabinet card albums, I always pull the tape off and then I just use my glue stick to re-stick them down but it gives it that really nice sort of yellowed like, antique colour so I've used some actual vintage tape to repair somewhat this um, bit of ledger and I've made a pocket on that side I've got some glitter on these berries you can see that 
show the sparkle because it's Christmas. <laughs> that will be soon. Um, I've made this little bow and these paper clips, safety pins I've got further on, they're all rusted and I did rust them myself. Just had a bit of ruffle here. I think this needs something more, but I'll do that down the line. Some decoupage in there. I've got some little bits of ephemera floating around. I have got an ephemera folder that I've made and I've been making myself some stickers and bits. So I don't have a lot of ephemera in here yet, but I have got quite a bit that I've made already. Uh, I've got this little charm here, that's from Tim Holtz, and again, one of my little rusty paper clips. And I made this tag just by overlaying some of this nice fabric. I'll probably use that for a photo or something down the line. I love Christmas. <laughs> if you hadn't noticed. <laughs> I love this. I'm going to add this to my shop too, just for everyone, just because I made it and I love it. Um, I'll probably put a little, another little ephemera kit together and I'll include this. And I have gone round the aperture. I just fussy cut it, scissors. I've gone round the aperture with uh, the gold paint and I've used the gold, uh, the red glitter glue on the berries again. And that is a top opening. Obviously you can have it, whatever. I was talking with the idea of like redoing the slit here because on the original album, can't even see that. On the original album, there's a slit here and you slide the photo in that way. Um, but I wanted it to be full size so I can really utilize the size of the pocket in this case, but you could just do that and then pop your photo in in there. So I added in this Christmas Carol page because I realized when I was doing my, um, when I was doing my, um, redoing my um, book that I didn't actually have any Christmas Carol pages in. Um, that makes no sense. <laughs> so again, I've done all the red sparkles on the berries. I will keep doing that with all these. I've got a lot of these that I cut out um, with my Cricut made into stickers. So I'll make sure they're all glittery. I've got these little bits of ephemera that I have floating here and some paper that I stamped. So it is vintage paper, but I stamped that on there. My little quotes. I need to add some more of them. This here I love. Um, I'm actually, I've, I'm going to put the photo in here of when I take the kids to see Santa. So I can tuck the photo in the corners. And I've actually left it open as a pocket on this side. So I can t um, tuck the receipt in or the ticket or whatever we get for um, for the booking. I can tuck those behind there. I can do some journaling. I can do a little sort of title here. Maybe I can write here about the day, you know, depending. I'm not sure we're going to see Santa yet, but... Um, and on the back of this, what I did with this little flap here, I masking taped it so this won't move about um, because I wanted to create it as a pocket. So this page is additional. This page is additional. Love this imagery. There's a few of these pages in here. I just love how vibrant they are. And look how naturally aged that is. How pretty is that? So I had some letter transfers, some vintage letter transfers, and I transferred the C onto this little bit of this like an old tablecloth that I have. And um, I embroidered it myself as you can tell, because it's definitely not a professional job. Um, and I made the pocket, I made it into a pocket. I love it. I re-added the red um, sort of velvety tabs on my little end tails there. Look how vibrancy, I love it. And I did the, I did this collaging here, I like highlighted the, the fire flower, because this is obviously the poinsettia. Um, and I just really like how it's come together. I don't know what I'll do with that page just yet but I might just leave it as is a lot of these pages to be fair in this journal this year I'm probably going to leave as is and just kind of just appreciate them as opposed to covering them up I've done another one of these little book uh, these little page markers so I've got this is from some old jewelry that I had this little green droplet and on the top here a little gold bead and it's a green um, little charm there and it literally is from this old necklace I've had since like, I don't know, early 2000 <laughs> when these were all in fashion. Um, which we're tangled up now and it's just this little cluster of beads. So I've been pulling it apart um, to get all the beads and things off it. So I'm actually pleased I kept all those now. So they're good things to have on hand. Uh, this I plan to do like a little index of December, what we do each day, like a little summary. I did that last year and I quite like that. I like looking back on that like an overview of December. Do some collaging up here with this holly. This is from Tim Holtz uh, and the poinsettia one. 
ease holding page. I've just added this little bit on the bottom here. All my rusty um, candy canes. We've got a nice sparkly ruffle there. A little snippet of gingerbread. I like these. I mentioned it in the last one, I'm pretty sure, where um, I've kept little snippets of these things because I imagine like a scrapbook, you would have little snippets of things that you just find you want to keep safe, um, like a little FYIs, if you like. And so I've, I'm just adding these like in random places. And again, I've got some holiday holly and I've just wrapped it over on that page. So I made sure to do those little berries with the red glitter too. So when I went to the Antiques Fair, I saw a bookmark just like this and I really liked it. And I asked the lady how much it was and it's quite expensive. And I didn't love the design. It was a Christmassy design, but I didn't love it. Um, and I would have just taken it apart, which would have been a shame. So I thought, no, I'll just make my own. So I got myself some of the, um, oh, what is it? The cross stitch fabric. And I had some, I had this lace already. Um, I did tea dye it slightly just to take the white off it. So it's not massively like dark or coffee stain or anything, but it just kind of dulls it a little bit. And then I sewed this around and then I added this little tab and the button. So it hangs out the top of the journal nicely. I don't know what I'll do with the back yet. If I'll cover it up or not. Quite like the sort of messy sort of organic nature of the, uh, the stitching. Um, I've just got this floating about here. This is a vintage dictionary page and it's snow. So I'm going to do something with that. So I've clipped it on for safekeeping. What's that caught on? There we go. And I've got one of my rusty paper clips and there's a little um, snowflake charm. So this is some vintage fabric that I got from the Antiques Fair as well. And I've made a tiny or a thin uh, ruffle. And this is some recipe page. This is like the back cover of the recipe book. And I just really like that Christmassy cake there. And I just backed it with tea dye paper to journal on. This is probably the most annoying part of this book for me at the minute, because <laughs> it's too plain. I need to decorate this with something. I just haven't got that far yet. Um, but I will decorate that. I've got that pocket there to decorate too. Um, another paper clip with this little charm on it. This is from some vintage jewelry and this is a flip out here with that nice book page on uh, um book page image sorry on this i'm going to leave as is because good king wensler so it reminds me of my dad so that's just going to stay as is so i just added this little cluster in the bottom just to decorate it a little bit add a little bit of something to it i love this it's my favorite pocket in the journal I've just done lots of layerings, lots of lace, a ruffle there, this trim here. And I've just added a snippet of this vintage lace here with a safety pin. And that is a pocket. And I've snipped the corner with um, this little bow punch that I found. I love this image too. Goes to Christmas present. Another little pocket. Another sort of journaling card. Back to the Christmas card. I'll probably put a photo on the back of this one. A vintage lace there and this uh, sparkle on the top is that sort of this fabric here that roughly fabric and this is a sticker that i made and i just added this little cluster here because i had this little bit here but it was quite bare so this is some silk uh, samples i got when i went to antiques fair and then i just added this is my last one of these so it just kind of reflects that one over there that is a pocket um, I love this cluster. You'll have seen that in the last video. My little poinsettia snippet. And then I've just added this here. And that little um, bit of lace at the top there. That's the same lace I've put around the bookmark. You know, just some bits of ephemera. to save them space really at the minute. I love this paper. It's got little flecks of gold in it, which I don't think will pick up on the camera. But it's got little flecks of gold in it. It's so pretty. More of that book page. This is an image that I found on the graphics fair that I printed, and this is that letter dated on Boxing Day, uh, which I just like there. This is a pocket here, and this is from that vintage book that I have. I just fussy cut it to create that little sort of pocket slash tuck spot there. I did this music paper in. I just got like the colouring of it, and I added this envelope in. I, to add the envelope in the stitching, I just went down here with a knife really carefully, sewed it in, um, and then just glued it back down to recreate the envelope. So it's just in the middle of the, that signature. On the back of this music paper, I just glued this paper on. I don't mind that it hangs over, so it doesn't quite fit the page, but I quite like the sort of layered look. 
so that creates a journaling space for me as well. Then I have this music trim and a vintage, this is a French postcard that I also found at the Antiques Fair. And I love that you can see the whole image through because it's so pretty. Now this is some ledger page, uh, this is from Johanna on Etsy and I just printed it on sticker paper and stuck it onto the back of this because the back side isn't relevant to Christmas. It's just this Christmas pudding, but I love that image, really like that. And then the back side of that. I created one of these little houses. I actually got inspired to do this by um, Heather from Ruby and Pearl. Where she created these little houses last year and I loved them. And then I've got this little journaling card, a photo card uh, of Santa flying towards my village because I live around here. So that's him flying towards my village to drop all our presents off. <laughs> and then this is the last, this is that vintage um, ledger index page. Little cluster there. And again, a little snippet about Christmas trees, which I love. So that is my journal now. And that's how it's going to stay, I promise, apart from being worked on and embellished further and obviously the spine piece um, but that is it I'll just look at that shine it's so nice and again if you wanted to print this and recreate it then you could use a gold pen you don't necessarily have to go out and buy gilded liquid um, to do it I really only went out and got that because I was doing the original book so I, I now have it and I can use it uh, but actually it comes in real hand look like, it really comes in handy like when I did that um, cabinet card piece and I did it around the aperture of the frame um, I think it looks really, really effective. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that uh, and I'll be back again to show you some more very, very soon. So take care. Bye for now.